Every good day still starts with the weasel. How you doing, weasel? Diesel weasel. He's a weasel named Diesel. Good boy. Good boy. And the day would not be complete without Sergeant. Sergeant's in here eating. Hi, Sergeant. What you doing in there, man? What you doing in there? You kind of <laughs> He's wondering the same thing himself. You're supposed to be eating your food. Why is it puppy food and Diesel's not supposed to eat it? It's just for you. Just for you. So, uh, the plans for today, yeah, you can come out of there, whatever. Finish your food later. You ate like half that bowl already. Good boy. Good boy. Six his head right in my feet. Cool. <laughs> Making some music over there, man. Diesel never liked the squeakers when he was a pup. Hmm, apparently Sergeant does. Do you mind? I'm vlogging here. Well, fine then. Fine then. I won't vlog. Nobody wants me to vlog. Who is this? Okay, so that was my mother calling. Uh, for tax reasons. I have to bring her some more papers for tax. How many papers are involved with taxes? Wow. It's constantly, my house is raining down snow. You seen this? Oh shoot, it's not gonna pick it up now? Oh come on, the snow has been sliding off my roof all day. See how it's piled up there? Oh, oh, oh! Oh. No, now it's not gonna show because I'm vlogging it. Of course, I'm vlogging. Why would anything cool happen when the camera's rolling? The snow was all on my roof, right? And I got a, a steel roof. And so when it melts in the sun like this, when it gets on a warmer day, it slides off the roof and poof, into the front yard. That's why if you uh, ever end up visiting me for my family and friends, don't park too close to the garage. Don't park too close to the house when there's snow on the roof. It'll fall on your vehicle. Ice warning. Don't tell me I didn't warn you. I am not responsible for any damages. My house is just shaking itself off, that's all. If you get too close, your fault. I warned you. Anyways, we're going to go into uh, town and Diesel's going to come with his first ride in the pickup. Are you guys ready for this? Diesel, are you ready for this? Sergeant's going to stay here, but uh, Diesel, you want to go for a ride in the pickup? Yeah? Are you serious, man? Don't tease me. I got that uh, seat cover thing, right? And you can get that car seat cover at Walmart. I think it was about 20 bucks. You see? Can you guys see that or is it too dark? Nice seat cover for Diesel. You, you can even zip up the middle here, in case you don't want him to like uh, have too much access to the front or anything. You can zip that right up. Here we go. Give her, Diesel. Whoops. <laughs> we'll, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. You stay back there though, okay? How's it feel to be in the pickup, man? It's your first time you've ever been in there. How's it feel? Thrilled. Simply thrilled. He's awesome. Can we go outside the garage too? Yeah, I'll take you for a ride. Yeah, why not? I gotta fix this a little bit more and see if I can secure it a little bit more so it doesn't flop around like that every time you jump in here. <laughs> well, Diesel, what do you think so far? You like the truck? It's your maiden voyage. Good boy. Look at him. Aren't you happy to actually come with me for once? <laughs> he hasn't come with me anywhere uh, uh, outside the semi truck, really. Since I got this new truck, I haven't let him in here yet. I wanted to get this uh, pet protection thing first. I'll save my seats back there. He's a good boy, but his paws get dirty. <laughs> hey, Diesel. Oh, he's excited. We'll listen to some music. What do we got on the radio here? What is this diesel? Pump? No? <laughs> Play that. 
Well, what do you guys think? Sergeant. Hey, there's the camera. Shiny. Sergeant. And that's how you spell sergeant in Canada. If you're wondering, I know there's different spellings of sergeant. I didn't spell it wrong, and if I did, I did it on purpose. That's how I wanted it to be spelled, so that's how it's spelled. Sort of like sergeant. We pronounce it sergeant. Sergeant. And we got these. I know, I know. I hope I never have to use these. I got two of them, one for each dog. Uh, it's a muzzle. Pretty much for when uh, I take them on the ferry going to Newfoundland, if I want to take them inside, I have to have a muzzle on them. They won't let me take him inside. He has to stay in the truck. Unless if he has the muzzle. So now, at least I can take him inside. And sometimes when I stay in motels, uh, hotels, sorry, hotels are the ones with interior hallways. I want to take him out for a walk. But some people are just really afraid of dogs, like for no reason. Or maybe they have a good reason. But they don't, they're very uncomfortable and terrified when they see a dog like Diesel. It happens. So... Now, if I'm in a public place where uh, I don't want him to be licking everybody or, you know, maybe he gets too aggressive and, you know, bumps his teeth onto them and they freak out. Ah, he bit me! Your dog bit me! No, he didn't. He just likes you. Calm down. So now I don't have to worry about that because he's got a muzzle on there, right? And it's insurance reasons too, I'm sure. I don't know. Uh, rarely ever would I need to use it, but there has been times where I'd be like, man, it'd be nice to have a muzzle on him right now. Just for a very short time. He doesn't need it. The German Shepherd might though. <laughs> That's my guard dog. Sometimes you put a muzzle on him just as an extra Im intimidation factor, right? So when you take him for a walk through the truck stop, you see a dog is muzzled. People are thinking, man, that dog must have some attitude. I'm not going to mess with that guy's truck. You know what I mean? It's all in the mind. I like playing mind games with people like that. Because nobody knows Diesel's friendly. Well, all like 40,000 of you do. But strangers, they just see a big dog. He can get pretty scary, actually. <laughs> if he doesn't like you, he'll let you know. He'll let you know. He's bit me before. <laughs> but I deserved it. Idle no more for democracy. What? I don't understand. How does shutting off my truck promote democracy? How would I let my truck idle? Freedom! Huh? How about that? Idle for democracy! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that's all about there. Should have seen the guy who got out of there. Man, he looked like Jesus. Big beard, long hair. I like him. I wanted to go shake his hand, but he ran off that way. And plus, I wanted to, to film that decal in his car there. What do you say, Diesel? Should we go through the truck wash? Yeah? How about the automatic one? Oh, that should be fun. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. This car wash actually has people. I actually got people that are in here washing my truck. Automatic, but automatic old-fashioned style. When people do it for you. <laughs> I didn't know this. Diesel. Look, there's people out there. Oh, I see him, man. I see him. He's right there. Right there. What you going to do? What you going to do, man? Don't hurt your truck, eh? You get him, Diesel. You get him. Get him, Diesel. What's he doing? What's he doing, hey. Diesel? Oh, man. Why are you putting your stuff on your truck, man? Look at that, eh? You learn something new every day. I've actually never been through an automatic car wash that's old fashioned like this for actual people in here. <laughs> cool. And Steinbeck at the shell. Look at these things here, they change color. Whoop! That's awesome. So now I'm in the automatic wash. So first of all, they have someone who soaps your truck down, then you move forward a car length. And then they had someone who rinses your whole truck off of that soap. And then you move forward a car length. And now you get this like massive crazy machine that changes colors that washes the truck for you. And then you go into that, like on the other side of this, uh, well, now you can't see it, where that car is in front of me. And they have people who chamois off your car for you and dry it off for you. 
I know. <laughs> Mind blown. Diesel, I think we found our new favorite car wash, at least for the exterior. They do interiors on the next bay over there too. I gotta try them out and see if they're any good. Absolutely. Well, here it comes again, Diesel. Here it comes again. Oh, a clean truck is a happy truck. That's what I always say. Why is only one side rinsing? That's not fair. Oh, now it's gonna do this side. Interesting. Interesting. Hashtag impressed. Don't worry, Timmy. I won't forget about you. It would not be a trip into Steinbach without some Timmy's. Timmy's. What was that? My phone's making noises at me and I don't know why. Huh. Let's see you out there, Diesel. Having fun? Having fun? Just staring at the world, man. Having a blast. Life for a dog. It's a simple life. It's a good life. Especially when you're my dog, because you get spoiled rotten, right? Right? It's a good life you got. Now we just gotta wait for all these people in the drive-thru here. Goes all the way around to the other side over there. All the way around. Well, it is that time. I gotta clear off all of this snow right here. It's really hard to hold the camera and snow blow at the same time, so I'm gonna try setting it up and see if, it, see if I can get something to work out here. Looking good, Diesel. Looking good. Feeling pretty comfortable? Feeling all right? <laughs> little tail wag, little tail. Oh, there it stopped. <laughs> how about you put this thing on and I'll ask you how you feel, man. How about, how about that, man? How about that? I would like that. <laughs> At least we know it fits. You do not like it, do you? He's just totally just like, I am not moving from this spot until you take this off my face. Are you sure? You're gonna stay right there? <laughs> he hasn't moved since I put it on. <laughs> Why is this thing on my face, man? I don't understand. Oh, it's just in case, Diesel. Just in case. You'll never have to wear it again, most likely. But I just wanted to make sure it fit. <laughs> Such a good boy. <laughs> it's only fair. It's only fair. Diesel, how do I look? Yeah, you look ridiculous. I'm kind of pissy right now, though this German guy keeps biting me. Diesel! How do you think, how do I look, man? How do I look? Are you happy now? We both had to put it on. <laughs> this is very uncomfortable. Doesn't quite fit me, though, does it? <laughs> you look funny. Look at this guy, he's just totally off in his own world. I got my skunk, I got my skunk. How do you say that in German, Diesel? I still don't know how to talk to him. <laughs> Can't get me, man. Yeah, well, 
If he has to wear it, I have to wear it. That's the rule, I guess. Are you two fighting? Are you? <laughs> He's hiding under there now. Uh, look at you. Hey, Sergeant. You're responding really well to your name, and you're asking to go outside when you need to go to the bathroom. And when I'm not around, you're using your little puppy pad. You are such a good boy. Such a good boy. He likes to play tug of war with Diesel. Diesel, go get your toy. Where's your toy? Show him your tug of war. Go get your toy. Which one, man? I have so many. Oh yeah, I know you're spoiled. But go get a toy. Bring it over here. No, you gotta bring a toy here, man. Did Sergeant hide them all? Go find a toy. Where's your toy, man? <laughs> I'm looking, man. Sergeant keeps taking them. Sergeant, where's the toys? That's not gonna do any good, man. He speaks German. You'll just have to take my word for it that they play tug of war. <laughs> it's funny because it's more of uh, Sergeant getting dragged around the house. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, did he just go get one? He went over there. You find a toy, man? Nope. <laughs> All right, guys. So thanks for joining me today. It was a fun day. Uh, my next vlog will be live anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time tomorrow. You can find it on the internet. I will see you then. Have a great night, have a great day, stay positive, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, sure, now you guys want to play tug of war. Now that the vlog's over. <laughs>